Yo, what is going on guys, and Kuch here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to counter revive snipers. Now honestly, I'm gonna be the first one to say it, I am guilty of this. I for one constantly revive snipe people because it's so damn easy. And the reason why it's easy is because people don't know how to revive people so that they do not get sniped. Now there's no right or wrong way of resing people and trying to counter snipers, but there are a few methods that I know of that work and a few methods that I know do not work. Now one that everybody has recommended I do since the beginning of trials is turn myself and spin in circles as soon as I get rezzed. This will slightly move your head and cause the sniper to screw up. This is pathetic guys, honestly. Whenever I see somebody spinning in circles, all I can think about is them doing ballet. It does not work. Your reticle on the sniper barely moves at all and the head position relatively stays the same for every single class and character that you are. The second thing that people have suggested is crouching as soon as your revive animation is complete. I personally have never ever had success with this and B, your timing would have to be absolutely perfect for this to even work. So I highly recommend staying away from that option as you're just gonna get sniped 99.9% .9 of the time. With that being said, let's get right into the two methods that definitely work in screwing up those pesky revive snipers shot. First thing you wanna do is try sliding in front of the person. This is the method that I personally recommend, but other people find success with pushing other people away as soon as they are revived. Now, these two methods both share one thing in common. They move the reticle of the sniper. The reticle is the pinpoint dot in the middle of your scope that shows you where your bullet will go. If somebody moves in front of the guardian that you're aiming for, your reticle will automatically get adjusted and move towards the person that is moving in front of him. This phenomenon occurs because you have aim assist. The higher aim assist you have, the more likely and stronger this effect is going to take place on your guardian's reticle. In basic terms, this pretty much means that the sniper is going to fail his shot and you and your buddy that you just survived can go walk away freely. This clip right here has to be the best one that I have showing you guys exactly how this phenomenon works. I'm about to get revived by my teammates and there's a sniper directly in front of me. As I go up and get revived, my two teammates slide in front of me, which catches the scope of the sniper. He could literally drop his controller on the floor and just keep it focused on my head. But as long as I have one person sliding in front of me, that will screw up his reticle. It will automatically get attracted to the people sliding because of aim assist. As soon as this happens, he has a split second to make a quick flinch reaction shot onto my head 99% of the time it will not land like you just saw there it did not land and I'm free to go and we have a huge advantage so guys this is a fundamental part of the game in Trials of Osiris revives are massive so I thought I'd share this video with you guys and teach you all about revive sniping and how to counter it this is a very good method and I'm telling you 99% of the time this will work if you do it correctly Thank you for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily Destiny content, and as always, and cooch out. Yeah. If I ever said I'm